My fellow Nigerians, I speak to you today with a heavy heart and sense of responsibility, aware of the turmoil and violent protests unleashed in some of our states. Notably, among the protesters were young Nigerians who desired a better and more progressive country where their dreams, hope, and personal aspiration will be fulfilled. I am especially pained by the loss of lives in Bonn, Jigawa, Kano, Kaduna, and other states, the destruction of fa facilities in some states, and the wanton looting of supermarkets and shops, contrary to the promise of protest organizers, that the protest will be peaceful across the country. The destruction of properties set us back as a nation, as scarce resources will be again used to restore them. I commiserate with the families and relations of those who have died in the protests. We must stop further bloodshed, violence and destruction as the president of this country. I must ensure public order in line with the constitutional oath to protect the lives and property of every citizen. Our government will not stand idly by and allow a few with a clear political agenda to tear this nation apart. Under the circumstances, I hereby enjoy protesters and the organizers to suspend any further protests and create room for dialogue, which I have always acceded to at the slightest opportunity. Nigeria requires all hands on deck and it owes all, regardless of age, party, tribe, religion, or other divides, to work together reshaping our destiny as a nation. To those who have taken undue advantage of this situation, to threaten any section of this country, be warned. The law will catch up with you. There is no place for ethnic bigotry or such threats in the Nigeria we seek to build. Our democracy progresses when the constitutional rights of every Nigerian are respected and protected. Our law enforcement agencies should continue to ensure full protection of life and properties of innocent citizens in a responsible manner. My vision for our country is one of a just and prosperous nation where each person may enjoy the peace, freedom, and meaningful livelihood that only democratic good governance can provide. One that is open, transparent, and accountable to the Nigerian people. My dear Nigerians, especially our youth, I have heard you loud and clear. I understand the pain and the frustration that drive this protest. And I want to assure you that our government is committed to listening and addressing the concerns of our citizens. But we must not let violence and destruction tear our nation apart. We must work together to build a brighter future where every Nigerian can live with dignity and prosperity. The tax before us is a collective one, and I am leading the charge as your president. A lot of work has gone into stabilizing our economy, and I must stay focused on ensuring that the benefit reached every single Nigeria as we promised. My administration is working very hard 
to improve and expand our national infrastructure and create more opportunities for our young people. Let nobody misinform and miseducate you about your country or tell you that your government does not care about you. Although there have been many dashed hopes in the past, we are in a new era of renewed hope. We are working hard and the result will soon be visible and concrete for everyone to see, feel, and enjoy. Let us work together to build a brighter future for ourselves and for generations to come. Let's choose hope over fear, unity over division, and progress over stagnation. The economy is recovering. Please, don't shut out this oxygen. Now that we have been enjoying democratic governance for 25 years, do not let the extremists of the enemies of democracy use you to promote an unconstitutional agenda that will set us back on our democratic journey. Forward ever, backward never. In conclusion, security operatives should continue to maintain peace, law, and order in our country following the necessary Convention on Human Rights, to which Nigeria is a signatory. The safety and security of all Nigerians are paramount. Thank you for your attention. And may God continue to bless our great nation. Thank you very much.